Good morning, parents. This is Rosemary Jane, and I'm coming to you with a tech talk tidbit just for parents. So I am uh, going to go over some of the things that we looked at last night in our training, and I'm going to begin with how to sign up for Schoology. You'll go to Schoology.com, and you will sign up as a parent. You'll be prompted to enter your access code, and that access code is found in your child's email, and we went over how to do that last night. I'm going to show that as well. So when you click on parent, you need an access code. The district emailed out to students their access codes from a Cincinnati Public Schools email address. So in your child's email, you would open that Cincinnati Public Schools um, email. I've got a sample of what that looks like here, with some notes on it as well. Um, you wanna create your parent Schoology account, going to schoology.com, and these are the steps. Your access code is found right, right here. You can just copy and paste it. And then you'll also want to create your parent PowerSchool account, going to this link here for PowerSchool and following the directions um, to create that account. Your access code and uh, password are found here. Once you're in Schoology, if you need to add an additional child, you can just click the drop down arrow by your name and click add child. So here I am I'm in my parent account. I'm only getting the updates to the district I'm in and the groups that I have joined. So in my parent account, I can go to the drop down menu by my name. And if I have another child, I can click here, add child. Then I put in that child's access code. Up here, I can toggle to my child's account and I can see all of their updates. Now, what I really like as a parent is I can see when my child has submitted an assignment or completed a discussion. So I can see that she has participated and submitted. And then right here, I can even click on it and I get to see what she said in the discussion. I get to view everything the teacher posted, but I'm only gonna see what my child posted and not what the rest of the students in the class have posted. That's why it's really important that you are in your parent account. Also too, that was looking at a discussion. I can look at her assignment she posted to the teacher. And so here's the assignment, her submissions right over here. I can click on that and it just takes a moment to load but it'll show me what she said. And then she attached an image now. This is just a sample from my child. So this image, maybe she took a picture of her work packet, or maybe she took a picture of some, an assignment she was doing on paper. I just added some clip art, um, but you get the idea. I can see what my child has submitted. So that is the parent account in a glance. Um, if I see something and I have a question about it, I can always message that teacher, and I think that's a great feature in here. So let's say that I am on that discussion and I wanna to talk to this teacher. Well, over here in the members tab in my parent account, I can see the teacher's name. This is my sample course, so yes, it is my name. But I can click on that. Um, excuse me, I'm in my daughter's account, so I need to go to my account, and then I can write to the teacher. So for this one, we'll say that the teacher's name Kimberly McLean. She helped us out last night with um, so much in the chat moderation. So Kimberly, and then she pops right up. And so then I can type my message to her. And so that's it. I can create and send um, individual message to the teacher. I can see what's going on with my student. And then back in my own account, I can also join like the COVID-19 support group that Dr. Bunger shared last night. Keep up with all of those updates. When I log in, my landing page is recent activity and I can see messages from the district as well as messages to any parent groups I'm in. And then I can go into my child's account and see messages also from the district, but as well as all of her teachers um, and, and messages about work that she has completed. So that is the parent account in Schoology. Um, this is just one in a new series of Tech Talk tidbits for parents. So I hope that you um, check back often and I'll post another one soon. Thanks, bye.